I have an announcement. Uh, the next lecture uh, uh, is supposed to be, to be given on 27 March. Uh, will be done by Professor Gongjun Kim, my colleague. Uh, Just next to our uh, room. Uh, he will review review what we have learned until now. So that lecture will be given in Korean, not English. So I suggest all of you to attend the, the review session, review session. And I must apologize to you guys who do not understand Korean. Uh, but next time, as I as I uh, talk to you or, uh, earlier, the next time the review will be given to all the students by English. Okay. So. You think you can attend this one? You can. You can attend. You can attend. Yeah. At least. At least the, the uh, lecture material is uh, all written in English. So it, it might be helpful if you. Okay. What we've learned in the last lecture and another announcement is we will have a surprise keys starting at 10 o'clock and that surprise keys has to do with the, the uh, model analysis or, or strictly speaking the way to get a mold shape. Uh, so you have to follow the, uh, the procedure I'm going to introduce to you today uh, very precisely because the, the mold shape uh, model analysis is very tedious. In other words, you, you have to work every element by element by hand, okay? But at least you, ha you, 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 you know how to do it before you use a computer program. If you use computer program, for example, model analysis in MATLAB or other software, what you have to do is just, you just to put in the uh, mass matrix and the k matrix and damping matrix and the rest of it the computer program can computer program and does it okay but you have to know at least what's going on over there okay so so let me ask you what we've learned last lecture okay what we learned at the last lecture. Can you pinpoint the uh, one keyword? One keyword you learned at the last lecture. Freedom. Freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. And what about yourself? What you learned in the last lecture? As he pointed out, we learned two degree of freedom system, right? And anything you can remember? Two degree of freedom system. Yes. What about yourself? 
We can write the governing equation in matrix form. Okay. That's what you remember. Yeah. What about yourself? What did you learn in the last lecture? Matrix analysis. Use a, using eigenvalue. Yeah. Eigenvalue and eigenvector. What is the eigenvalue then? That's difficult, huh? You remember that we mentioned about eigenvalue and eigenvector, but okay, okay. What do you remember from the last lecture? And Mr. Gentleman said. We study the two degree of freedom system and using eigenvalue and eigenvector we can regard the two degree of freedom system as the independent one single degree of freedom system. Okay. Do you have any other thing to add on what he mentioned? Single degree of vibration. I mean, the problem is found in the equation. Uh -huh. And we learn to work in vibration. Okay. So we, we, we actually ha had attempted to uh, the, the similarity between true degree of freedom system and a single degree of freedom system, right? Uh, what about you? What did you learn at the last lecture? Okay. Okay, that's good. So, uh, we learned that uh, the generally we can write the vibration of two degree of freedom system and by using Mass matrix and the key matrix. Okay. I suppose we have <laughs> mass M one, M two, K one, K two, then the mass matrix here look like this and the K matrix look like what? How the K matrix look like in this case. Okay? This is X1 <coughs> And this is x 2 t the coordinate that measures the movement of each mass. Okay? And x vector has two elements. Each represent the motion of mass 1 and the mass 2. Right? Let's try to get K matrix. How? We have to use the free body diagram, right? Suppose 